know, like if five times hurting, like you suck, it's all your fault. I'm like, I I know it was my fault, that one. Get ready to fly. Good afternoon, evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Zachary Nolan. Carter Nolan is behind the camera. Yes, sir. Welcome back. Thank you so much. If this is your first time tuning in, do not forget to subscribe and leave a like and comment down below and say hi because it's, it's just nice. It's nice to meet new people on here. Um, also, by the way, be aware that next game we are live streaming against the Boston Bruins because Carter is leaving the house and I get to use his laptop to live stream. So W. Big W, unlike tonight, which was an L, or I guess an L for the people looking, it's an L. Yes. Anyway, so let's get into this game. Jets lose 5-3 to three to the Carolina Hurricanes, or 4-3 with theatrics, if you want to just call it that. Pretty much an empty net goal with three seconds left. It's practically a one-goal game. Um, let's get into this. The goaltending uh, combo tonight was not friendly. Uh... Admittedly, both teams, I want to say both teams are using their backup goalies. Like, yes, Kochetkov technically has got a 50-50 split with Frederick Anderson. But if you think that Frederick Anderson is better than Piotr Pier Kochetkov, I, 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 I got some land to sell you. Like, don't, don't be a fool. Um, but yeah, no, uh, bad, bad, bad goaltending matchup nonetheless for us uh, with Riddick and Nett against Frederick Anderson. Uh, worth noting, going into this game, the Carolina Hurricanes had struggled offensively, and I said, great, this looks like a prime opportunity for them to fix their scoring woes. And boy, howdy, did they. Um, no Morrissey, no PLD, or Stanley in tonight. Stanley was replaced for Kyle Capobianco, who looked fine. He looked as good as a sixth defenseman should, honestly. And he had a couple scoring chances, because it's Kyle Capobianco. He's a weird bipolar animation of that, where he... Does he can have horrible breakdowns, but also all of these scoring opportunities, and there is no middle. Um, but yeah, let's get into this game. Horrid turnover by Dylan in the first uh, quarter of this first period. Botches uh, botches this play up. A botched glove save by David Riddick, and the puck floats over David Riddick over the fucking rainbow, and just drops into the net. One nothing. Hurricanes reaction here. Come on! That is a horrible zone exit by Brendan Dillon right there. You gotta put that one on Dillon. If you have two defensemen down low and everyone else has left the zone, hard out. He needs to go out of the zone. Yeah, it's, uh, 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 I don't know what to say in this one. The thing with David Riddick, I, and, I, and I know that a lot of this video is going to be ripping on David Riddick. Let's just make something clear. David Riddick is an amazing, it seems like a very nice man. Very nice man. And he actually has, and he's got more success in the NHL than 99.9% .9 of us watching this and making this video will have in our lifetime. Man's not great though as a def as a backup goalie and as he an struggles, NHL caliber and he balance. struggles primarily with his glove hand. David Riddick's glove hand is god awful, god awful. He 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 plays with two blockers and you can't change my mind. He doesn't catch the puck. He just goes hey. He force pushes that shit back out. It's not good. But yeah, Slavin makes it one nothing for the Hurricanes. Um, good looks, nerves. Cabo Bianco gets so close, and then we go into the second period, and something weird happens. The Jet, there's a big hit on uh, Martinuk that would end up taking him out of the game, I believe. So speedy recovery, hopefully. Also worth noting, Andrei Svechnikov, obviously highly touted, but he is done for the season. So this is the first game where the Canes were without Svechnikov. Canes, you mean? Yeah. I thought you said Kings. No, I said Canes. Okay. You see what I have to work with? There's no one there. And Jim turned to the camera moment. <laughs> um, but anyway, early on, a hit takes literally everyone away. It's almost like people are pushing and shoving, but then out of nowhere, Dylan DeMello runs a three-on-one. Boom! Jets score to make it 1-1 one -one reaction here. Go! 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 Damello! Damello! Woo! 
Dylan goddamn DeMello. It's also worth noting, uh, let's get this Mike Ward out of the way. Michael Ward for the worst jet tonight is going to get not even dual citizenship, thrice citizenship, multiculturalist citizenship between David Riddick. Boo! You know what? No! Ben! I'm debating Brandon Dillon. And I know Neil Pionk's getting it. And Brendan Dillon gets half, gets the, the smallest timeshare with this award of the three people because he plays on the pair with Neil Pionk. So I can't really be mad at him as much. Like when you play with the, with the uh, defensive equivalent of a bouncy castle, you're not gonna get really good results. But anyway, not long after Brady Shea makes it 2 1 off the face off reaction here. For the middle, like Slavin before him, an unassisted goal. We are even. There's a shot. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, oh, David, I would like that one back. Um, the first goal is tough. It's dumb, whatever. Second goal, David Riddick should have. And honestly, so should the third goal. The third goal is worse. Uh, wrap around by Kasperi caught Kinyami. Makes a 3-1 reaction here. Damn! But before that hot didgeridam, there was a great fight between Dylan Sandberg and, uh, checks notes. Notes say I don't have him written down. Um, it was a good fight though, actually. Come on, Sammy. Come on, Sammy. Here as Mason wants to have some fun with Dylan Sandberg. Dylan Sandberg. Oh, yeah! There's a good left. Yep! You know what? Sammy at least got a draw on that. Draw minimum. Draw min. Good for him. Good good for him. He's already fighting better than Logan Stanley. Um, But yeah, a couple close missed chances. And the Jets go into the third period. Down by two. Carter, what are your thoughts on this game? And this is how you fucking can oh, Come on! Yeah! Good morning, afternoon, and... My turn, Jackass! Well, another loss for the Jets in their fight for a playoff spot. Moving forward now, we had some individual decent uh, performances this game, I noticed. Uh, Nino Niederreiter has consistently uh, been a great addition to the Jets, as well as uh, uh, Vladislav Domestikov. And so it's good to see that some of the new Jets coming around have had uh, a good presence on this team and that they've really been able to step up. However, it really can hurt when you have David Riddick had a bit of a tough time tonight. He just, he couldn't, he, he just couldn't put it together. We got no save Dave tonight. We didn't get big save Dave. Uh, which is unfortunate, but it is the way it is. Hopefully the Jets can get back going. Uh, it's going to be very difficult as their next opponent is the Boston Bruins coming in just two days. But coming tomorrow, All Elite Wrestling comes to Winnipeg. Uh, so we're going to have some content on Dark Elevation, some content on Dynamite and Rampage all in Winnipeg tomorrow. I'm going to be at that. So make sure you guys check the video out on that later. I'm going to have a blast. I um, Hopefully you guys do too if you guys watch that. And if not, well then start so yeah overall just couldn't put couldn't get the win against uh, Carolina one of your top two teams in the league uh it is what it is but hopefully the Jets can maybe put up quite a surprising performance against the Boston Bruins so let's get back to Zach sorry uh third period eh I was really not invested in watching this third period I felt there wasn't a chance in hell the Jets were coming back fair Fair play to them. They made it close. Nikolai Ehlers, the Danish boy, scores off a nasty feed by Blake Wheeler to make a 3-2 reaction here. Thank fuck Ehlers! Woo! 
I legit like stopped recording because I'm just like this game is just a slow walk to murder. But we somehow now have momentum in our favor, so let's go. And how do the Jets reward such vigilance? Punk. Punk. Neil. Punk. I wouldn't trust David Riddick to watch my dog, and I don't even have a dog. Kevin Sawyer had the gall to blame the ice crew. He says he started his thing with obviously different ice conditions here in Raleigh, in South Carolina, in North Carolina. They do ice a little bit differently. And then he went on to say how it was a rough turnover from Neil Pionk on a D to D pass. Kevin, are you okay? What the fuck are you? Like, I've never seen an ice crew catch strays in my life. This is the weirdest fucking thing I've ever seen. It's four to two, but don't worry because El Nino makes it four three because that's why he's the goddamn goat. That's what I'm talking about! That's why he's the MVP! That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! <laughs> Get fucking who? It's Nino Nino Riley, baby! Woo! Fucking unit! Unit! We got a life for He's just the best. Like, say what you will about the Jets' inactivity at the deadline, and I did, but... Jets have been electric with both of their pickups. Nemestikov has got five points in seven games, I believe. I think it's six. Five and six. I, okay, yeah. well, I wasn't sure if the graphic was showing for the full fucking game. Anyway, why does it matter now? Carter interjected. We keep moving on. Um, <laughs> I think Kisberry caught Kaniam. You got the empty netter? Yes, he did. You fucking A. Seven seconds to go. We'll put this one to get for good. Uh, well, we can't blame David on that one because he wasn't in the fucking net. Unfortunate, lads. Unfortunate. You got the empty netter with three seconds left, so I don't know. It is what it is. Jets don't really get much pressure. Blake Wheeler takes a penalty with two minutes left, which is quintessential Blake Wheeler, I must add. Um, and it's a tough loss for the Jets, but not one that's too terrible, honestly. The Jets go on a road trip with three teams all fighting for playoff spots at least, and come up with two wins on that trip. Not a bad result. And both, like, they get the both of the wins that they were, they were expect they wanted to get badly, which was with their starting goaltender. Yeah, that's a successful road trip, lads. Granted, uh, as we speak, Calgary may gain on us here tonight because they play the fucking Coyotes. What's the score? The, the game hasn't started yet. It starts at nine. Because oh. it's in Arizona. Uh, Senators are tied with Oilers, so that means... Uh, and the Predators are beating the Red Wings. So, honestly, at this point, what can you do? You just got to keep yourself above 500 for the rest of the season, and you should be okay, I think. I think... I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I think we can make it. I think we'll make it. It's not going to be pretty, but I think we're okay. With that being said, three stars for this game. Um... The first star, uh, Nino Niederreiter, showed great physicality out there. Made a great reverse hit um, and scored as well to continue his point streak as a Winnipeg Jet, which has been every game except for the first one he ever played in as a Winnipeg Jets uni uniform. It's actually been, he's been money. Uh, honorable mention, Vladislav Nemestikov, the entire second line, I want to say. Although I will give Nikolai Ehlers his special props at third uh, star. Um, but Vlaslav Nemeskov uh, works really well with Blake Wheeler and Pierre-Luc Dubois. And I would like to see when Pierre-Luc Dubois comes back healthy, you move down uh, wheels and keep PLD and Vlad and Ehlers together because the chemistry is there. They're cooking something. They're cooking some good stews. Morgan Barron gets the third star. Great play, great puck control, and great pass to get that third goal in on the net. And... 
Second star is the toughest one to award because it was a mix of a lot of things. I'm going to give DeMello one, though, because DeMello realizing he, need, he gets to jump up in the play and score that goal was huge for the Jets to get some momentum. It would be squandered shortly after, but nonetheless, it's it's good good start. Yeah, tough loss. Let me know down below your guys' thoughts on this game, honestly. I thought there were good moments. I really did. And I feel like if the Jets start the right goalie or start the starting goalie, I think the Jets walk away with at least an overtime loss in this game. But it is what it is, and take it as you can. Next game is against Boston, so hope to see you guys on the live stream. Thank you so much for watching. And but we... before then, tune in tomorrow as All Elite Wrestling is coming to Winnipeg, so we're going to have a video out on that. Yes. Yes, and I have to quickly shift it back because soccer's on, and I can't show that. It's a fake sport. Uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Connor, you'll spend your time for Connor and Fitzgerald!